There we have everybody what is sometimes known as a pajama donkey, but that's only by very rude people who would call it a pajama donkey. It's not a pajama donkey, it is a zebra. It is a plains zebra, and it is sitting, standing in the, sh it's not sitting at all, it's standing in the shade, because it's quite hot today. And you can see it's got the most clever tail. Sometimes I wish I had a tail like that when I live out here, because there are so many flies. And that tail that that zebra's got is used to swat the flies. It's really very clever. Now this is a young male zebra. In other words, it's a stallion. Remember we spoke about bulls and cows when we talked about the elephants? Well, this is a stallion. That means it's a male. And I want to ask you a question. This time you're going to answer me a question. Oh, there's another one. I think that's probably also a young male. Can you see that strange sort of gap there in the striping on the side of the zebra? Can you see that, everybody? Focus, can you see it? Can you see that? That's right in the middle of your picture. It looks like that somebody has drawn a line through the stripes. Now, I want you to tell me what you think happened there, and then I'm going to tell you what I think happened. So you're going to tell your teacher very quickly, in the next two seconds, you have to shout out what did that to the zebra, and then I'll explain it to you. See him swatting away at the flies as he dozes. His horses and zebras are very clever. They can sleep while they're standing up. Sometimes I feel like I want to sleep when I'm standing up, but it's very difficult. Now, Kevin, you want to know how big zebras get. Well, this is a young male zebra, so he will get quite big. And when they are at their top mass, they mass is the same, same weight. When they're at their top weight, they'll be just over 300 kilograms, which is about 660 pounds. So they'll be pretty big. And then they stand at the shoulder. Well, it just depends on where they are, but around this area where they're pretty big, they'll stand at roughly 1.3 meters, which is about four feet, basically. They'll stand about four feet at the shoulder, just over four feet. Is that right? Yes, it is. Now, Garrett, zebras have stripes, obviously, and you say, why do they have stripes? There are so many different ideas, Garrett, as to why a zebra has stripe, have stripes. I think a lot of them are complete rubbish. I think the best explanation for why a zebra has stripes is that it helps them to stay hidden from predators that are colorblind. Now, if you imagine that the green that you can see in that picture was also black and white, imagine that, then I think you can see how if that zebra was walking past those bushes which were pretty much the same color as it, well, it might be quite difficult to see. So I think it helps them to stop being eaten by other predators. Otherwise, I really can't see a reason. Some people say it sort of, you know, to keep them cool. The black stripes get hotter than the white stripes, but you'll learn about the chemistry or physics of how that happens much later on in your lives. I think for now, or you can accept that the stripes are there in order to help them not be eaten by their predators, which are largely lions. Anybody have any answers for me yet as to what happened to that zebra there? No answers. I'm so sad. Elijah, you say, why does zebra's mane stick up? Maybe you know about horses, Elijah, and you know that horses' manes, of course, lie down unless you do what we call hog them, which is to cut them very short, and then they'll stand up just like the zebras. Zebras, unlike their horse cousins, store a lot of fat in the neck there. So you can see the neck, on the top of the neck, there's a whole lot of fat there, and that fat makes the mane stick up. And so you can tell how if a zebra is healthy or not by how its mane is standing up. If its mane is not standing up, you know that the fat that it's got in its neck is being used by the body to survive. And that normally means that there is not quite enough to eat. All right, I don't think anyone's going to give me an answer, so I'm going to tell you. If you look at that little spot there, can you see it, Fergus? Mm. If you look at that spot there, I think you'll find that a lion... Yes, that's what I said. A lion grabbed the zebra when it was young. And I think that its claw cut open, a big cut there. And that's why those two stripes don't line up anymore. And so there was a big slice in this poor zebra when it was a youngster. But now that's completely healed. And although 
there is no gap in the skin you can see there that there was a big uh, what we call trauma when they when it was very young so it was a lucky escape from a lion i think this chap he is fast asleep hmm <laughs> His friend in the background, not so much. Now, you won't believe it, but as I showed you earlier on, just a little tip of the head, we're going to go cr down the road, and we're going to look at that amazing giraffe over there. Now, John, 